Hello everyone, this is Shonko and welcome to another video. I really hope you guys are doing well and are safe inside your homes. So in this video, I'm going to talk a bit about threads in Java and how uh, shared resources work in a multi-threaded environment in Java. So let's dive straight into the example. But before that, if you're not subscribed to this channel, please do subscribe. And when you subscribe, please turn on the notifications so that you never miss a video on my channel. So I've already created a class named demo. And I'm going to create the main method for this class. And I'm going to say implements runnable. And I'm going to say add unimplemented methods. All right. So let's add this one at the end. And I'm going to say private static int i equals 1. And inside one, I'm going to say i plus plus. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say i plus plus. This is out i. And then. dot current thread dot get name right okay and then inside inside this method I'm gonna say demo demo equals new demo so that would create a new uh, new object for demo and I'm going to say thread t1 equals new equals new thread I'm going to say demo comma thread1 Right, I'm gonna copy this, create another thread, call it T2, and they'll and then change the name to thread two, and they'll be sharing the same uh, object for demo class, right? And now let's all right. Set this I'm going to put in a for loop. So I'm going to say int j equals to 0, j is less than 20, j plus plus. All right, and I'm going to say t1 dot start and t2 dot start. Okay, now let's run this as Java application and see how it works. I'm going to say Java application. Alright, so we have the result. So first we have two printed from thread one, then we have four printed from thread one, then we have five printed from thread one, six thread one, seven thread one, three thread two, nine thread two. 10 thread 2 so if we look at this uh, if we look at this uh, result we can see that the threads are, I mean we, we really don't have any control over the threads the threads are controlled by the uh, scheduler for, for, for this particular program or for this particular you know uh, application and we as a programmer we don't really have any control over which thread get which thread gets access to which resource now if we talk about the resources inside this uh, application we can see we have a static global variable called called i so when we say static that means 
that no matter how many objects we create for this particular class all the objects would be sharing the same resource or they'd be sharing the same variable i mean even if i create 100 resources or 100 objects for this particular class demo they'll share the same uh, same variable called i and multiple variables won't be associated with the new uh, won't get associated with the new objects and they'll be all sharing the same same variable i and they'll be updating the same variable i right so so we can see first two is getting printed and what we are doing exactly is we are just running a loop inside this one method so when we start when we start a particular thread by saying t1.start it just runs a new thread which is out of the main thread and it runs whatever is mentioned inside this uh, run method right that means and what we are doing inside this run method is we are incrementing the value of i and we are printing uh, the value of i and we are printing the thread name as well so if you look at this i plus plus it would see it would uh, it, it would look uh, it, at the first glance it would look like an atomic uh, expression or an atomic uh, activity so by atomic what do i mean by atomic i mean that there's only a single step to perform this particular activity i plus plus that is incrementing the value of i but that is not the actual case that is not what happens so when we say i plus plus there are actually three steps that gets performed so since this is a global variable and global variables are always uh, present inside the heap memory and they're not uh, locally stored in the thread cache or the thread stack that is uh, that is associated with a particular thread and that is not accessible by other threads so this is stored in the heap memory and this is present inside the heap memory and this is accessible by all threads so all threads will be performing this i plus plus activity on the same resource or on the same uh, variable i right and when we say i plus plus there are actually three steps that get that get performed three steps that get performed so first step is retrieving the value of i from the memory so suppose uh, at the very first time the value of i is one so the value of i is read from the memory the value of i is incremented by one and then the value of i is written back to the memory so there are three steps that gets performed when we say i plus plus this is not an atomic operation okay so when we say i plus plus this is not essentially an atomic operation that happens there are other three steps that happen first uh, the value of i is read from the heap memory and then uh, the value of i is incremented and the value of i is then written back to the heap memory and this variable is shared across all threads so we have our numbers till 41 right and again this uh, object of demo is also shared by these two resources or these two threads rather so they'll be working on the same object of demo now let's do one thing instead of having this as a global variable let's make this local to this method and instead of having these two threads share the same object we create a new object of demo for both the threads right now let's run this again okay so this time this time we have our numbers till 21 and the previous time we had our number till 41 right this is because previously this i was being shared by the by by the threads but this time this i is local to the thread 
and this i is not being shared by uh, the threads this is rather stored in the uh, the value of i is stored in the uh, stack memory of thread so we can see we have numbers till 21 Here we have 2 from thread 1, 3 from thread 1, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21 from thread 1 and then we have from thread 2, 2 through 21, right? But previously when this i was being shared, we had numbers till 41. But this time we have till 21 because previously this i was being shared by both the threads and there was a single copy of i in the heap memory that was being shared by both the threads thread 1 and thread 2 but this time when this is local to this method when we, when we have uh, variables that are local to a particular method threads do not share them threads generally do not share them unless we are uh, explicitly trying to you know uh, pass them to a particular thread or something like that the local variables are not shared by threads and they are stored in the thread stack now let's do one thing I said demo let's say demo Okay, we still have a number still 21. This is because even though they are sharing the, even though they are sharing uh, this resource demo, uh, the, the object of the, uh, this resource demo, but still this variable i is uh, local to both the threads so this this the variable that that thread one has the variable i that thread one has cannot be accessed by thread two and the variable i that thread two has cannot be accessed by thread one right now let's do one thing let's make this global again so let's say private right so this time i'm not using the uh using the keyword static but we have just one uh, object of demo so let's see how this works so again we have our numbers till 41 right because again they are sharing the same uh same, same variable i because this is global to this particular object and they are sharing the same object now let's do one thing let's comment this and say new demo new demo right and let's run this okay so again we have our numbers till 21 This is because this variable i is stored in the heap memory and every time we create a new object of demo, since this is not a static variable, every time we create a new object of demo, a new variable called i is assigned to that particular uh, object or gets attached to that particular object. So every object has its own i, has its own uh, variable called i and since we are using the two different variables or two different objects in these two threads they are not sharing the this resource i so again if you make this static we are going to share the same resource and we are going to have our numbers still 41 
because again they since this is static since I made this static so no matter how many objects I create they're gonna share the same uh, variable static variable and copies of static variable are not gonna get created when we're creating objects and all the objects are gonna share the same uh, resource or same variable and that is why they are working on the same variable and incrementing the value of same variable and that is why we have our number still 41 so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did enjoy please give it a thumbs up and if you're not already subscribed to this channel please do subscribe thanks for watching